Well, for those of you who don't know already, Bering's channel was terminated for copyright violations. And it's interesting because I had just made a video, my last video was about that very subject of copyright violations and how you know, YouTube could handle this stuff differently. Now, some people are hypothesizing that it's over people reporting his main icon, his, his, uh, uh, his avatar, the character that he uses as his, is taken from Total Drama Island. It's the bear from Total Drama Island. Um, a lot of people hypothesizing a lot of things. And we just don't know. We just don't know. And then Ezzy, Edgy Sphinx closed his channel, and he claims on Twitter that it's because the EDL, the Anti-Defamation League, uh, threatened him with something. I, I don't know exactly what, and he complied. And I'm like, well, you know, people are saying, well, why don't you, like, show a screen cap of the email? And he hasn't done such. Um, I think he should. It would, it would definitely give his his claims uh, more validity. Um, but man, there's weird stuff going on. And, you know, I'm hoping that my channel isn't at risk because of Viacom. Uh, I sometimes wonder whether I should have listened to people when they said, oh, well, you should, you should file a, uh, what do you call it? A, well, basically, I've uh, detested the... What the hell is that goddamn thing called? What is that called? I filed a... What is the word? Can't believe I can't remember that word. Dispute not approved. All right. The claimant has reviewed their claim and confirmed it was valid. You may be able to appeal this decision, but if the claimant disagrees with your appeal, you could end up with a strike on your account. Video blocked in all countries. Well, at least I don't have that to worry about. Uh, people can still watch it on... Uh, people can still watch it on... on Vimeo. Well, that's interesting news, isn't it? Um... So, well, at least I don't have that to worry about, though if, let's say if companies decided that they didn't like that I was taking things from commercials from the 80s and earlier, you know, I could be in trouble. I think copyright laws in this country are stupid. <clears throat> and this is the only thing that I just about the only thing that I can agree with libertarians on. Um, their view of our copyright laws is that they're ridiculous and they would like to, to completely change the way that this country handles copyright issues and I agree with them on that position very much. Um, so, I just... You know, I, I may not like the way that Bering goes about things. I may, I, I mean, I, in one of our last conversations in text, it almost seems like Bering thinks that the only thing that makes something moral or immoral or right or wrong is whether or not it's legal or not. That... <clears throat> God, how do, how do you... That, well, if it's not illegal, then it's not immoral. And if it's legal, it's moral. Instead of the laws reflecting whether something... Trying to reflect whether something is moral or not. No, no, no. It's de de defining morality based on whether something is legal or not. And I, I think that's really weird. I don't know fully whether that's his position... When I asked him to clarify, he didn't really say anything. Um, but I do find that kind of 
weird. Um, it seems there are a number of people out there who kind of have that that viewpoint, and I just kind of go, "Wow, do do you just do do some people just lack a moral compass?" <clears throat> it it kind of seems so. It's disappointing when someone doesn't really care about the ramifications of what they do or say. Well, you know, it's legal, so it's fine. It's like, wow, I just, just wow, I don't understand that. I can't understand how someone could think that way. I can't understand it. They kept on me nose, a man of all noses. Uh, line from uh, Help, the, the movie Help from uh, uh, The Beatles. What a silly movie. <laughs> So, <clears throat> I don't know what to think at this point. A lot of people are trying to petition to have uh, Bearings Channel reinstated. I don't think a petition is going to do any good. Um, YouTube just doesn't normally listen to anything like that. YouTube doesn't care if there are thousands upon thousands of of like like on their their help forms or when they get receive feedback for something they could get thousands and thousands of people saying something they're like well we don't care this this is our policy this is how we want it and fuck you that's google for you you know google who has no uh no transparency whatsoever as to what their plans are or any of that um there are like some changes to parts of the YouTube, different sections of the YouTube page that have been changing uh, layout a little bit, but they still haven't implemented the, uh, oh man, what is that called? My wording's gone. Uh, damn, what is that name? It's the... What is the goddamn name of that? That's driving me nuts. Material design. I had to look up the, the phrase Google's standard layout and it up came material design. Yeah, they were originally supposed to be making YouTube a material design layout. I mean, this has been months and months and months and they're not rolling it out, and yet they're still making some weird changes to YouTube. Um, they've made changes to the comment section. Uh, and yet it's still kind of linked to Google+, Plus because of the way that they handle notifications. Um, I have no idea what's happening with YouTube right now. I have no idea. I, I'm, I'm out of guesses. There, There's no... There isn't any sort of pattern that I can I can say. Well, I see this, and this usually means this with them. No, no, I I, I can't find a pattern other than they're wanting to make some major changes to YouTube. I've hypothesized in the past that they may be trying to get YouTube to turn YouTube into a product they can sell to, let's say, one of the big six. But then there's other things they do that looks like, well, maybe they're trying to become competition for the big six. Because, I mean, there's the element that I've talked about before with <clears throat> how you know, television is kind of on its way out. And within about 10 years, if we survive anyway, we it, cable television will just kind of be, will be looked at almost as a relic of the past. There may, there may still be service available when I say cable television or satellite television, whatever. You know, some of these things may still be available, but it's mainly going to be the elderly that are using it. Um, so, you know, maybe they're trying to forge their way into that. But Google just doesn't seem to be... Over the past year, Google just doesn't seem to know what they're doing. 
So I don't know. It's just, this is very strange. This next year is going to be interesting to watch, I tell you that.